Hi, so, so let's start with um, this problem fxy is equal to y plus 1 if x is greater than 2 and it should be y minus 1 if x less than or equal to 2. So we need to basically build a Turing machine for this. So um, here if you see um, yeah, since x is equal to 2 first time uh, there are two ones and then it is um, delimited by 0 and then uh, y is followed with as many ones till then there is 1 so this uh, y is equal to 4 there are 4 ones in second example x is equal to 3 then there are 3 ones followed by a 0 and then there is only 1 y is equal to 1 then there is only 1 1 so, uh, so this is the way it is uh, represented and this is actually the Turing machine uh, for uh, the very same problem so so let's start with uh, at q0 so that is uh, over here right so now uh, so let's take an example so first time we'll say x is equal to 3 that is greater than 2 so y can be anything can be 4 then f x y ideally should be y plus 1 right because x is greater than 2 so if y is 4 then the answer should be 5 so let's take this example first let us represent uh, this as um, so this is uh, x is equal to 3 and this is 1 1 1 and then it is a 0 so 3 x is equal to 3 there are 3 ones so let's represent y right y is equal to 4 so 1 1 1 1 followed with a blank so let's say blank is just b okay so this is a situation when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 so how does it work so initially um, is in a q0 state is it 1 then we make it blank right so so this becomes let's uh, make it just replace it over here so just make it blank and move to the right then we move to the one more right and make it uh, if it is still one we make it blank so basically we are moving uh, three times ahead just to make sure it is greater than two which means just to find out that x is greater than two so we are moving three times and counting three ones literally so it's still one, one be good next one is one so we are in the q2 state over here now so now q2 state uh, again it is next one is one so we make it blank and move to the right great by this stage we are very sure now that x is greater than or equal to 2 so so now it is quite possible that uh, x is uh, greater x is 5 and there are still more ones but no matter how many ones repeat this will loop and you just keep on making it blank till you find 0 and the moment you find 0 you know that the next number is going to be y so we just make it 1 thereby incrementing it by y plus 1 so whatever number of y's we just take this value at 0 and make it 1 and that um, lives in a final state so we get one extra one so the answer is 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh uh, y is equal to 4 oh I had one extra uh, in this case the y was actually 5 so that's why we get the value of so um, so you're uh, basically y was actually 5 when we started off and um, the answer should have been 6 which we have got as per our Turing machine 
and that's how the first uh, scenario works where um, we find out for three x's it goes in this green line and uh, the moment it reaches q3 state we know it is x is greater than 2 and no matter how many ones are there after that we just make it blank and uh, the moment you find a 0 which means uh, y is going to follow so we just increase 1 you know replace that 0 with 1 thereby increasing one more adding 1 to the y and uh, we get the final value so let's take a second example now right second example basically let's um, in this case um, let's make this x is equal to 1 okay less than 2 no matter what the y value is f x y should be equal to 1 less which is 4 right right so let's represent this state first so what is this uh, state look like so initially we will have x is equal to 1 right and uh, followed with a 0 to, re to represent x is equal to 1 thereby after that we have to put 5 ones so let's put 5 ones and 1 2 3 4 5 after this this should be blank right this should be blank this should be blank and this is what is your second um, um, problem um, represents x is equal to this is why this is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 5 so how does it work this time so first time it goes into q1 state it makes it blank takes it 1 and makes it blank right that's how it will work so we remove the 1 and we put a blank so it's moved in the green arrow and moved to q1 state now the next one is 0 so it comes out which means the y is going to follow ah. So if the y is going to follow, then we anyway have to reduce one of the y's. So whatever is zero, just um, make it one. Sorry, one. Just make it blank if it is zero. Right, and move to the right. After this, if you um, um, this is actually the loop is actually a zero state. So ideally. Um, been erased over here so it is zero blank in case if there is more than one zeros we just ignore it make it blank but in this case we have a one followed now right so we have to reduce one y so we so that you know we are here so and we, this it is after q4 state we make this one as blank to reduce y by one so let's go ahead and do that and we leave into final state which is y is equal to 4 you see fx y is equal to 4 1 2 3 4 and that's how we achieve this uh, equation